How's it going, viewers? Sometimes nothing feels better than a good shave. The problem is, it's one of the most time-consuming parts of your shower routine. It's only natural to want to skip it every now and then. Just know that there are consequences. In today's video, we'll see what happens to your skin when you decide to take a break from your razor. Will your hair grow thicker? Will you experience fewer skin breakouts? How about chafing? Will that stop? We'll discuss all this and more. Shaving is done based on hair growth and complexion. Some of you may shave every day, while others only sometimes. Although the routine has benefits like exfoliation and smooth skin, shaving can also harm your skin. It's hard for some of us to believe since we do it every day. You may think that after you put the razor down, you won't have to put as much work into caring for your skin as you used to. Well, it's true. In fact, you may notice some additional skin advantages. Let's begin by busting the myth that your hair will grow back thicker. If you're worried that not shaving will make your hair grow back quicker or thicker, don't panic. This is just a myth that's lasted centuries. There are no changes to your hair when you stop using your razor. The color, thickness, and growth of your body hair are influenced by genetics and hormones rather than shaving. A razor blade removes hair from the skin's surface, which can cause the cut hair to appear thicker and darker. This may be because of the blunt ends generated by your razor. There would be no changes in the consistency of your body hair if you stopped shaving all of a sudden. Shaving just eliminates the dead hair, not the living hair beneath your skin's surface, so it's unlikely to impact your hair development. Similarly, the new hair has not yet been lightened by exposure to the sun or other chemicals. This gives it a darker look than your existing hair. While your decision to stop shaving won't affect the thickness of your body hair, it'll definitely influence the type of moisturizer you use. You may have to avoid thick lotions or heavy creams, as the hair will act as a barrier and prevent them from hydrating and nourishing your skin. You can switch to products with thinner consistency or oil base. If your hair is thin, go for light lotion or cream. If they are thick or curly, go for body oil. Also, try using products that include things like tea tree oil. Now, if your skin is acne prone, stay away from applying anything too heavy on your body. Use moisturizer with exfoliating benefits. This will give you the same smooth skin you would get shaving. To keep the skin hydrated and moisture locked in, look for products that contain hyaluronic acid and ceramides. No more chafing. First things first, chafing is a type of skin irritation that occurs when the body parts rub against each other or your clothing. Sweating is inevitable if you engage in a lot of physical activities. The moisture along with the friction and repetitive movements can cause chafing and rashes. It's fairly common in people who run or exercise frequently. Chafing can occur all around your body from your armpits to your feet. Surprisingly, body hair can prevent chafing. It's like your natural anti-chafe mechanism, which acts as a buffer to protect your skin when the limbs rub against each other too frequently. When you remove this barrier by shaving, you're offering more leverage to chafing because there's nothing to shield your skin from physical pressure. Also, when stubble starts to grow back, it can aggravate chafing by irritating the skin it comes in contact with. To avoid this kind of scenario, it's best to maintain your hair and keep your body moisturized. Did you know you can also regulate your body temperature by maintaining your hair? It's a high possibility that your body temperature will be more consistent once you stop shaving. Have you ever observed how your hair lies flat when you're warm and rises when you're cold? Well, this is an intricate biological process. The location of your hair can either trap or release heat, depending on whether you want to stay warm or cool. They help to protect your skin from heat loss by trapping a layer of air above it. This is why you shouldn't just throw your razor during the frigid winter months. Sounds unusual, right? Here's how you'll experience fewer skin breakouts if you avoid shaving. Not gliding a razor across your skin regularly can really help you. Razor burn can be caused by dermatitis from shaving lotions and gels. Shaving can also result in ingrown hair. Have you ever had ingrown hair before? This is where it gets really gross. Ingrown hairs can result in an outbreak of lesions. These lesions will look like pimples at first glance. Yes, you're thinking right. Shaving does not influence the output of oil glands, but it can cause acne-like pimples. This can be avoided if you just stay away from using a razor. If you have thicker and curlier hair, you're more likely to get a shaving bump. Avoiding close shaves is one of the best ways to avoid these red, painful follicles. If you're prone to skin conditions like redness, ingrown hairs, or infections, you're gonna wanna put down your razor. Also, it's hard to avoid getting a cut while shaving. These cuts can be quite irritating. They can also become infected if they're not treated properly. Hairy skin is way better than hurting skin, isn't it? 
Without shaving, you'll have to exfoliate your skin more. Shaving exfoliates your skin by removing dead cells. When you stop shaving, you'll build up a layer of dead cells on top of your skin, making it more difficult for moisturizers to penetrate and be effective. It's best to moisturize your skin more often and use products after your shower. The skin will still be moist at the time and will absorb the item better. Exfoliation will soften your hair and prevent ingrown hair caused by dead skin cells clogging your hair follicles and trapping your hair beneath the skin. Remember to avoid abrasive scrubs and go for gentler options. Look for ingredients like alpha hydroxy acid, AHA, and beta hydroxy acid, BHA. BHAs are particularly useful as they love oil. For an easy routine, consider using a light exfoliating body wash once or twice a week. Say goodbye to itchy skin. Shaving too often can lead to itchy skin. If you're a regular shaver, you've probably experienced this more than once. You sometimes spend your entire day scratching away. The scratchy feeling usually occurs one to five days after a shave. This is because the hair is beginning to grow back. The sensitive area may result in scars if you surrender to the discomfort. This is the hard part. You need to stop scratching. Itchy skin can be brought on by shaving incorrectly. You may also be using a dull razor or shaving a sensitive spot. This is why it's important to make sure that you're buying a fresh blade as often as you can. Shaving with a dull blade can be enough to ruin your day. It just hurts. Also, shaving products with artificial fragrances and strong chemicals such as alcohol can irritate the skin and cause itching. When you use a razor to remove visible hair from your skin, you're not removing all of it. Instead, you're cutting it off close to where it grows. Hair follicles continue to grow hair beneath the surface of your skin, and shaving might irritate those follicles. It's because of this irritation that you get itchy after shaving. This may come off as a little shocking, but when you shave a region of your skin that's covered underneath your clothing, the fabric may rub against your shaved skin, aggravating the itchiness. Putting down the razor will prevent you from the hassle and help you maintain healthy and supple skin effortlessly. Hair growth has no impact on how you smell. Whether you shave or don't shave your underarms, it has no impact on your body odor. Let's understand the science behind this. Sweat is released from glands regardless of whether or not there is hair. Your sweat is odorless until it comes in contact with bacteria. Body odor is caused by naturally occurring bacteria on the skin, breaking down protein in sweat. If you choose not to shave your underarms, you don't need to change your regular body soap. Just remember to keep your underarms clean at all times. Sensitive to certain deodorants and antiperspirants? Don't worry, your body hair has no bearing on how sensitive your skin is to them. Hair merely serves as a physical barrier, and individuals with a lot of it may find it difficult to apply any product to their skin. You can try gel or roll-on solutions to smell fresh. Can't go without smooth skin? Here are some alternatives you can try. If you shave due to hygiene concerns and want to reduce harm to your skin, there are several options you can consider. Laser hair removal is one of the most effective methods for getting rid of unwanted hair. It removes hair by targeting the brown pigment in the hair and stops regrowth far longer than any other method. You may get the flawless skin you want without the effort and aggravation of other methods. Shaving provides your skin with a smooth look and feel. However, it's also associated with many skin problems. Not to mention your smooth face lasts for less than a day. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more skin and grooming related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out 16 secret tips for flawless skin they never tell you about. Or how about what happens to your body when you stop showering? Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn how your lifestyle can help you stay clean and beautiful. Do you plan to quit shaving after learning its effects? Let us know in the comments below.